So, so today we will continue our discussion of uh, NP completeness. Uh, so be today most of the lecture is going to be examples on NP completeness reductions. Okay. Uh, so before we start giving these examples, let's review the main concepts in the last lecture. Uh, the main concept was the definition of NP completeness. A problem is NP complete if both of the following conditions are satisfied. Condition number one, the problem belongs to NP. Uh, oh, a problem, yeah, let's give it a name. L is NP complete, L belongs to NP. And what does L belong to NP mean? Yeah, exactly. Verifiable in polynomial time. In polynomial time. And the other condition is every problem in NP is reducible to this problem. So every problem uh, L prime in NP uh, okay so maybe For every problem L prime that belongs to NP, L prime is polynomially reducible to L. Okay? So these are the conditions. Now, is the second condition hard or easy to check in practice? Is it hard or easy to check to or to prove that for every problem in NP, that problem is reducible to L? Hmm. It's hard because you have to prove this for every problem in NP. So now, last time we offered an easier condition, a condition that is equivalent but is easier to check. And what's that? What was that? Mm -hmm. So instead of trying to reduce every problem in NP to L, we reduce an NP complete problem, one known NP complete problem to L. And why is that valid? Why can we reduce only one NP complete problem to L instead of reducing every problem in NP to L? Why will that still be valid? Yes? Because all the NP complete problems were reduced or are still reducible to each other. The NP complete problems are reducible to each other. So if I, if I have a problem L star that is known to be NP complete, so I know that L prime is polynomially reducible to L star for every L prime in NP. Now, if I can take L star and reduce it to L, then I have proven that every problem in NP is reducible to L. Because L star is at the highest level of difficulty in NP. It has been proven. You know, remember our uh, example last time about the tallness, about finding the tallest people, the tallest group of people? Okay, once you find one of those tallest people, then you can use one of them to compare with. So you don't have to compare with everyone. Okay, so the equivalent condition is equivalent condition for number two. So this is an AND. Both of these conditions must be satisfied. But there is an equivalent condition for number two, which is for some empty complete problem 
for some MP complete problem L star, L star is polynomially reducible to L. So this condition in blue is much easier to verify in, in practice because you only need to find one problem. And, pro and reducing one problem to another is easier than trying to produce an infinite number of problems in the abstract, you know, abstractly reducing an infinite number of problems to one problem. Okay? Especially if you can find a problem that's very similar to the problem that you are trying to prove. And today we will be looking into some actual examples. Now the last thing to review the theory, if a problem satisfies satisfies condition 2 but does not satisfy 1 what do we call it? We call it MP hot. And the example that we gave last time was so what was the example for an NP complete and an NP hard problem? Yeah. Yeah, so the optimization version of the traveling salesman problem is NP hard because the optimization version does not belong to NP. And why doesn't the optimization version belong to NP? It's NP hard. Because you can't check two solutions in polynomial. Yes, because you cannot verify a solution in polynomial. So if someone gives you a proposed solution or someone claims that this is the solution, you can't verify if it's optimal or not in polynomial time. Unlike the decision version of the traveling salesman problem. The decision version of the traveling salesman problem can be verified in polynomial time because if someone gives you a proposed solution, if someone claims that this is a solution, you can verify in polynomial time that it's correct by checking that it's a valid solution, checking the vertices, the, checking that the vertices belong to the graph, and checking that they are not repeating any vertices, and checking that, what else? For the traveling, well, the sum of weights, the sum of edge weights on the proposed cycle is less than or equal to the target cost. So there is a target cost that we are trying to meet. So the sum of weights on the proposed solution of the edges in the proposed solution has to be less than or equal to the target. Okay, so that's you know, MP, co MP complete versus MP hard.